Welcome to the In-House Mama where I speak all things womanhood. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it is my first grocery haul. I asked you guys over on Instagram what you wanted to see and you said you wanted a grocery haul and dinner recipes and what I feed my kids. So I thought I would do a two-in-one video sharing what I get like grocery wise in a week typically and a dinner recipe for you guys that's easy and simple something that you can do quickly during the week when you don't feel like cooking like me um but today i'm also going to stop at sonic and probably grab myself a drink and grab the girls food because we have a home appraiser coming today and i am not trying to have like lunch mess all over the kitchen that i just worked so hard to clean and you know that's what would happen so we're going to head to Sonic first. I'm gonna get them fed so that when we're waiting for our groceries from Walmart and Target, they are not hungry and whining and crying because that happens too. Um, so I'm gonna load them up and we're gonna get going. Hi, can I get a Route 44 water, uh, Route 44 raspberry water with extra raspberry? Anything else? Yes, can I also get, hey Stevie, do you want chicken tenders or do you want corn dog? Can I get, do you guys have like a smaller um, popcorn chicken meal? Yeah, we do. Can I do that with um, tater tots? What's a drink? Uh, a Diet Coke, please. Anything else? That is it. Gonna be 608, thank you. I got a Route 44 water from Sonic and I get extra raspberry in it and it is so good. I think it is like 10 calories for it, but it is so delicious. Give it a go, you guys will love it. Okay, so you guys asked to see my grocery haul, so I'm gonna show you part two of the grocery haul. This is from Walmart Grocery Pickup. This is where I typically shop if I don't get to go to Aldi that week. Um, starting with this, I just got a bag of mozzarella for a recipe. This is actually for two recipes. A bag of sweet potatoes, a bunch of bananas. I got two flavors of Mio. We go through this nonstop. This one is the Mio Sport. And it is the Flavor Berry Blast. It kind of tastes like Gatorade. Sorry, that was blurry. And then we got this huge one. It's the Vita Mio Vitamins in the Orange Tangerine. I love this one too. We got some blueberries and strawberries and eggs. I got these fish sticks for the girls. I want to throw these in the air fryer for easy um, lunches. They've never had fish sticks before, but we'll see. A yellow bell pepper for one of my recipes an onion for my recipes uh these cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes here for a recipe a bag of cheese tortellini but this was supposed to be ravioli but they substituted it for this so hopefully that works out um i got two boxes of the stonyfield organic kids strawberry banana yogurt pouches and then i got these um strawberry applesauce pouches for the girls because I just thought they would love that they were frozen. These help if anybody has any backup for tummy problems for the girls. So I got the, a pack of Go Go Squeeze Happy Tummies. And this is a prebiotic. I've shared this before. It has fiber in it. So it just helps the girls go. I have been having the driest freaking skin right now during this winter. So I got the Coco Radiant Body Oil. And then I also picked up the Clinical Care Extremely Dry Skin Rescue. So hopefully that helps. I'll let you guys know. Um, Steve, me, and Elsie all love these tuna creations. So I got the deli style tuna, which is my personal favorite. I got ranch and then the hickory smoked, which we all love. Uh, I showed you the bananas. I got a couple cans of green beans for the girls, a box of penne pasta, uh, a jar of it. Prego tomato basil garlic sauce. And I think that is it for this grocery haul besides I got two gallons of organic milk. And that concludes my Walmart grocery pickup. Stay tuned for tonight's recipe. All right, here are the things that I typically pick up from Target. I don't know why they always have them in stock and Walmart doesn't, but I always have to go to Target to get these things. So first I'm gonna start off with these Annie Cheddar Bunnies. Um, the girls love them, easy snack. They're just like goldfish, they're organic. Uh, I feel less guilty giving my kids organic junk food, even though it's not healthy by any freaking means. Um, Elsie loves these breakfast biscuits, so does Stevie. They both love these. So I got those. 
these organic bees, bugs, and butterflies. I haven't gotten these for them before, but I thought they looked fun. They would enjoy those. Um, the girls love these fig bars. They're the Nature's Bakery fig bars, and they like the apple cinnamon most, so I got them that. I meant to cancel this. They have not had these before, but these are Kids Organic Whole Grain Bites in the flavor of blueberry, and I meant to cancel them because I got both of those, but whatever, can't have too many snacks. We love veggie straws. And then these are a special treat for Stevie. She absolutely loves this Boom Chicka Pop. And this is their kettle corn, their sweet and salty kettle corn. And they have individual bags. So I got those. And then every week or bi-weekly, we get these Earth's Best mini beef meatballs. They love them. They're so easy to throw into the microwave or into the air fryer, whichever you want. They have no antibiotics or hormones. I'm super weird about meat with my kids. So these are just something that makes me feel a little bit safer. Um, and then we also got the chicken nuggets. We typically get the chicken fries too, but I got some fish sticks on my Walmart pickup order. So I thought that would be plenty for the week, but that is my Target haul. Okay, totally forgot I was vlogging this, but so far all I've done is I have a browned two pounds of ground beef. I did a jar of spaghetti sauce and now I'm chopping up pieces of cream cheese and layering that on there. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna layer some tortellini and I think I told you guys already, but this is supposed to be ravioli, but that's all they had. And then I'll do a layer of mozzarella. of that meat and sauce just spreading it out as much as I can like this covering it with cheese again and then that is it. it's gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees and I will show you guys in a minute These are the ingredients I used. So I did about two cups of cheese. I did a jar of Prego. I don't like this sauce though, so don't use that one. Um, the cheese tortellini, which I said before a million times, I wanted to do the ravioli, but tortellini is fine. I did a half a brick of cream cheese, which you could definitely use a full one, and salt and pepper to season the meat, and that is it. And you can add like garlic or pretty much anything you want to add. So I totally forgot to tell you guys to cover it with foil. So I went back and I covered it with foil because you're supposed to bake it for 30 minutes with foil and then you take the foil off and bake it until it's brown and bubbly on the top. So forgot to tell you to do that, do that. Put the foil on there. It'll help from the cheese from um, burning before the tortellini is cooked. Or two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car 